everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer from MamaForFur.com, the home of smarter living, smarter saving and smarter spending strategies. Today it is my monthly meal haul and planning session. You know I show you exactly what we're going to be eating for the month ahead. I do a big shop, a big shop from Sainsbury's usually that you're going to see in a second. I'll show you what I plan to make using my ultimate meal planner guide that you can get on my Etsy store. There's tons of great resources on this video so stay tuned. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Reason being, I believe any budget whatsoever can achieve financial freedom. I'm doing it with my family. You can follow our progress every month as well. So hit subscribe and don't miss any of my videos. So yeah, let's go check out exactly what I bought this month. I get the lovely Sainsbury's delivery online shopping. So it's straight to my house. Don't need to faff about with getting in the car, bring it here. So I will show you exactly what we Start over in this corner now. Marshmallows, Jennifer, were they really essential? No, but we're going to enjoy them this month. They were on offer. The kids, look at the size of them, they're humongous. I'll give them to the kids one each as a treat. I might even cut them up and make little dippy marshmallows and strawberries and stuff. So they are a bit of a luxury, but we're going to enjoy them this month. Big pack of Jaffa cakes. Sainsbury's are doing these for, I think, £1.50. So I'm cracking by. The toddler absolutely adores Jaffa cakes. And as you know, it's a cake, not a biscuit. I'm just going to start the conversation starter. Leave it in the comments below if you believe Jaffa cakes are cake or a biscuit. I know the reason why they're definitely a cake. Let's see what you know as well. Okay, we've got my meat section. So I'm topping up my meats. Um, so I've got, I've actually got four packs. Four, I think five. Let me count. So yeah, some fillets of thigh fillets over there, which are fantastic for the curries and things I'm going to make during the month. And then I've got three big packs. And these are... The, I think that's a kilogram of chicken. Basically, you get five or six chicken breasts in a pack. So I will split this into two lots, two good two and two, and that'll do the two chicken breasts because they're huge. Will absolutely do meals for all four of us. So my husband and I and a toddler, two-year-old and a five-year-old will be covered, no problem. Two large packs of mince. Again, I'll divide and I'll shove that in the freezer to use this month. Garlic bread to throw in the freezer for like spag bowls and just little munchy bits. A couple of milks, we'll go through that easily this week and then I'll need to buy more by the end of the week. The obligatory cucumber, there's always a cucumber in my deliveries, you know that. So that is for snacking and little healthy snack. Got some cheese, the little one loves cheese at the moment so we've got some of that. And he's also a big fan of mini cheddars. Who doesn't love a mini cheddar? So I got them. Toilet roll because we'd run out. Grated cheese. Now, I was thinking about this this month. I feel like I might invest in just getting a normal block of cheese and grating it and maybe popping it in the freezer. I will see. It's easier sometimes just to get the basics range, but that's for all my cheesy stuff. Spag bowls, cheese sauce, blah, blah, blah. Lasagna. Some good old spinach to throw in stuff and I eat. And then I got some meats um, to put on pizzas and to have for lunch. So pepperoni slice and some chicken and that'll do lunches for this week. Some dough balls, garlic dough balls, these are fantastic and the kids love them because they're so small. They can dip in the butter and they're happy. Then I have my hummus because I love this for lunch. I've got red pepper hummus there and normal hummus as well. So I will go through that this week, no problem. Some cream because I'll be making things like cheesy pasta. I like the um, Elmley um, cream because it's got a long expiration date, but it's, you know, they do the varieties that are a little bit lighter, a little bit less fat than you would normally expect. Sour cream for fajitas and chilli that I'm going to make. Big tip of the basics coleslaw. It's lovely for salads and I, I'm the only one who eats that actually. But I will absolutely go through it. Got some bananas and some apples. Some of the basics kitchen roll as well that we'll, use. we'll go through that definitely in the month. So I might need to top that up as well. We've got some eggs for, you know, self-explanatory. The kids love a boiled egg. I love eggs. Happy days. These are really good. I don't know if you've had them before. The Stack and Stuff Mini torti Tortilla Chip. Tor the Stack and Stuff Mini Tortillas. Um, that Basically the kids put the fajita mix in there and cheese. And then I will top it with salsa or sour cream for me and the husband. You get 12 of them. We will probably go through them because they're so tiny that the little ones absolutely adore them. Maybe eat two for their dinner. So I really, really like them a lot. And it's cheaper to buy them without the sauce part. So it's just the, the little shells there on their own. 
Over this way we're getting their katsu curry sauce. That one is really yummy from Sainsbury's, so we'll be having that. I have, I've gone for tomato puree this month when I'm making my chilies and spag bowls and things um, to see if it tastes nicer than buying passata. It worked out a little bit cheaper. I think this was about 30 odd pence rather than passata being about 40, 50 pence a tub. So I'm going to give it a go and see if I like it. I've got some no drain tuna and that's Sainsbury's own so that'll be good for lunches. We've got some um, various juice shots because we're trying to avoid fizzy juice so that'll keep me and the kids going no problem. Sainsbury's tomato soup for the kids and for lunch it is lovely it's just as good as Heinz thoroughly recommend it and as always it's about half the price. We tried these last month and they were super tasty it's pesto pot so great for the store cupboard and I've been just making a little bit of pasta and been doing some chicken or some fish really easy dinner. A couple of packets of fajita mixes because we adore it and it's cheaper if I buy the fajita mix seasoning and the wraps separately I find. Little loaf, raisin loaf for me because I love me some fruit loaf. And we've got strawberries. Oh, there we got actually some more chicken for lunches and bits and bobs. I hear what you're saying. I could probably actually buy a whole chicken and debone it and get all the meat from it. I personally just prefer having a couple of packets of ready meat. So that's what we do. Let's keep moving on. We've got baked beans and sausages. Again, the Heinz variety, just as good. Um, sorry, the Sainsbury's variety, absolutely just as good as Heinz's equivalent. Some chickpeas to throw in various curries that I'll be doing. And then this is all this kind of top up stuff. So we've got basics, tomato ketchup, always go through that. Making a lot of pancakes for the boys. So I needed some golden syrup. I also, I've got some maple syrup for me because I adore that. Then I usually make a thing called skillet chicken, which is basically garlic um, granules, harissa spices on top, and it's just pan fried um, some chicken breast. The kids love it, the husband loves it, we love it, and I needed to top up. And they will probably last me a good six months for every time I make that, so it's fab. Another little paste jar, another little tom soup. We're getting there. Now, nuts for my husband, peanuts, cashews, and my two-year-old and five-year-old absolutely adore cashews. We break them down small so they don't choke, but because cashews are softer, I find they handle them absolutely no problem. But obviously take caution with your family. These were yummy. I got these last time poppables. The little one really enjoyed them because they were very small, really light, and they could pop them in their mouth. So it's just little cheesy snacks. Really recommend them. I've got some brioche hot dog rolls for doing hot dogs with the boys. Some mini wraps because I'm going to pop them in the freezer and they will be for lunches or when we have fajitas the second time. Then it's summer is here in Scotland so I had to get some ice cream cups and I'll be doing that with the ice cream. If I go down here, we've got some cat food for the cattywinks. No problem for them because we've got two lovely little rescue cats. And then the lovely man that came in my shopping put all my frozen stuff in these bags. So the last of it is... The golden nuggets from Bird's Eye, these are the whole grain ones, they are fab. I use them as katsu curry, which you've seen the sauce. Have that with rice, the kids love them, they're really nice, really tasty. Then we have some ice cream because it's summer, as I said, I'll do that with the kids. Sweet corn to make with some dinners, and then if I go into this bag, this is live action with me as I bang the camera. So in here we have the last of my frozen stuff which is broccoli to actually make all our dinners with. We have some curly fries and I've also just got some normal fries in there as well. And finally the man gave me some orange lollies. I had asked for rocket lollies but the kids will eat them just the same and that's Sainsbury's own. Just as a little different snack after dinner. So there you see tons and tons of good stuff. Um, and what I'm going to do now is take you straight to the PC and show you everything that I plan to make for the month ahead. Feel free to copy it with your family. Enjoy. Let's go straight to the PC. Okay, first things first, I'm going to quickly talk about this, which is my ultimate meal planner guide. You saw I created it last month, especially to help all you busy people out there manage your home, manage your meals. Concept is I give you 31 meal theme ideas that I use in my family as well. And I give you a whole bunch of 185 plus meal suggestions. This is a great thing, okay? So if you scroll through this package, we scroll down me talking about where to use it. 
there is a list and theme ideas for each day of the week based on alliteration, same letter because I do love alliteration. But what's extra special about this guide, if you click on any of these recipes, you will go straight to the website recipe that I have been mentioned in the guide. So it is so super easy and that's if you use it obviously on your computer, it'll take you straight to the recipes. So none of these recipes are my own, they're all on you know the usual great sites. I hope you really enjoy it. Go over to my Etsy store where you can get your own copy for your family today. There is even, if we scroll down to the bottom, there is even a couple of blank meal planning, a weekly meal planner and a monthly meal planner. You can print out home, cut on that dotted line and write and use in the shopping. What more could you want? So if you're still stuck for more ideas on how to meal plan, I've also created on my Etsy store two resources, a meal plan autopilot. It's a randomizer spreadsheet. Download it to your computer, use it in Excel. You hit one button right here, putting in all the meals that you love and boom, it will auto generate exactly what you can eat for that week. So that's a little tool you can use with your family as well. Let's talk about July then. So this is the meals that I plan on making with my family. We'll go over it really super quick and easy. And you'll see I've also got theme nights again, falling off the back from my planner. So the big shop that you just saw me do at Sainsbury's, I top up up milk, bread, perishable items every single week, usually going to the supermarket maybe once or twice a week at the most, never usually spending more than 10, 15 pounds. That's how I like to budget and we are living comfortably and happily on that amount. So the first week in July, and um, we actually are on summer holidays up here in Scotland. So the boys will be here a little bit more time. I will still be working full time, but we're going to have little weekends away. I've got some days off on an annual leave as long as my, uh, with my husband as well. So we're going to really try and make the most of the lovely sunshine in Scotland right now. So the first week, we're going to have veggie pasta. We're then going to have soup and sandwiches as part of Thrifty Tuesday, which will be using some of the tin soup. We've then got a family favourite on Worldwide Wednesday, which is pizzas and sides. The kids love pizza I will get the nice simple pizzas which are cheese and tomato and decorate them with lots of pepperoni and whatever we fancy on the night sides being garlic bread cold slaw cucumber maybe some crisps yummy night and everyone will enjoy it then I'm going to do pork pieces and mash pork pieces are in the slow cooker and this is part of my traditional meals I like to do every once in a while on a Thursday we'll then have fajitas in the slow cooker on the Friday and then pull apart chicken which is kind of like slow cooked chicken with a little bit of heat spice in it, some of that harassi sauce um, that will be really nice and give it a bit of flavour for the adults and doing it in crusty rolls. So I find that in the hot weather, I find that in the hot weather, we don't want big dinner. So I really tried to incorporate that into my meal plan. The second week, we are going to have beef meatballs that I got nice and cheap last month from the freezer. I will make that ahead of time. I'll do the tomato sauce ahead of time, chuck it in the slow cooker and it can sit there all day for me to bung in some pasta when I come home from work. Then I'm going to do baked potatoes on Thrifty Tuesday. So potatoes in the slow cooker as well all day. So they're beautiful when we come home. Katsu curry and rice, which the kids really enjoy doing the sauce on the side so they can dip their little um, Kiev style chicken pieces in there as they want. Mince and potatoes, which is a Scottish old style dish of basically meat gravy, potatoes with it, we'll also have carrots, a bit of turnip, really lovely dish. Another chicken curry to use at one of the jars that I've got with some rice. Salmon noodles, which is basically cooked salmon, but with a noodle pack with some mushrooms, onions, peas, a little bit of soya sauce. And I will actually try and use my slow cooker for the salmon part. The noodles are so quick, I don't need to do that. Then the last day, we'll have pulled pork wraps for Speedy Sunday. Again, probably I will make that ahead of time during the week and simply put it in the oven to heat up when we're ready. The third week, we will have Chicken Kiev's Peas and Chips on Meatless Monday. So although it says Chicken Kiev's, I've actually got some corn Chicken Kiev's in the freezer that we're going to use up and nobody will notice the difference. Lasagna and chips will be our store covered Thrifty Tuesday, which everyone loves. We'll have also then some Spag Bog the next day from the leftover mince that I'll create with tomato sauce and passata and garlic and onions. So that'll be a nice way to use up any leftovers. Then we'll have white chicken casserole, which is basically a, a chicken dish with cream of chicken soup in the slow cooker with some green beans, some peas, left to cook all day with the chicken breast, and it's lovely pull apart, and we usually do that with potatoes or rice. Then we'll have chicken nuggets, chips and peas to use up any of the corn bits that I'm not used up 
or to even give them some extra, you know, actual chicken nuggets that I've got in the freezer. Then we'll have meatballs and mash, which will be, which will be proper IKEA meatballs that we love with the gravy that you can buy from IKEA when you're there. So that's a really easy dish that again, I'll cook meatballs in the slow cooker so we can be out all day on the Saturday. Finally, we'll do lamb stew, which is another wholesome meal that I will make in the oven. We will have lamb pieces, some of the gravy from the lamb, carrots and probably some peas with that and I'll do Yorkshire puddings probably not so much of the mash might even do a couple of chips with that finally for the last week in July I'm going to make pesto pasta with chicken which you've seen that I got the little past a pesto tubs in my shopping this week then we're going to have hamburgers and chips for our fake away on Tuesday which is super tasty the hamburgers with some cheese relishes with sides it will be lovely without the buns or we might have the buns sausage beans on toast on whatever Wednesday super easy from the tin with some toast so the kids will really enjoy that pepperoni pizzas and throwback Thursday everyone loves pepperoni pizzas from their childhood and we're going to have that that week then we're going to do something a little bit easier on the Friday with finger food we're going to have some mini pittas with chicken and ham maybe some cheese and I'm going to actually buy a couple of dips that week so things like sour cream and chive dip maybe some some um, Thousand Island dressing that we can dip the little sandwiches at night time. It'll be super yummy. Then we're going to have flat chicken, which is the garlic granules, some harassi granules that I put on that as well with butter. And I bake that in the frying pan for about 10 to 15 minutes. And we'll do that with nice oven chips. And finally, the last thing I will cook this month will be lemon and herb chicken tray bake. One pan in the oven with lemon, you put your chicken, you cut up some carrots, put a good squeeze of lemon and salt and pepper, and that will cook for about an hour and taste wonderful. So as you see, that's quite a thorough plan for July. There's lots of meals that are very healthy, but also light on tummies. It's warm. You don't want a heavy, big meal. And a lot of this I can actually use the next day as well for lunches. So I'm really happy with what we're going to eat ahead. Um, I've actually planned for every single day because of my theme nights allow me but if we happen to have a night off or we want to go out for fish and chips or take the kids out that's totally possible too. So if you're brand new today you will know that I always use my meal planner. I always use this particular setup of planning my full weeks ahead, taking into account what we're up to. But let me know in the comments, have you found the meal planning something that's quite easy or is it quite difficult in your family? How do you keep to a food budget? Leave me a comment, let me know and I can't wait to hear what you suggest. Thanks so much for watching this video. Remember my next upload in the month is usually our monthly review of spending and saving and investing report. I show you exactly how my family has spent our money, where we've saved money, but also how we're investing and how we're doing towards financial freedom. Because I believe every single family can achieve that regardless of the budget. So you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned, hit subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you very soon.